Welcome to Chris Love Stamps. Welcome to a new uh, mail day episode where we're going to check the incoming mail. Two nice glassines and this. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is uh, Luxembourg. I believe the glassines are two. Oh, this is not easy. Ah, okay. This is these are this is not part of it. But yeah, I have some of these already. Um, could be that I've, you know, ordered a complete series out there with eight. I don't know, eight or ten. I don't know. It's all different colors. It's it's simple, but I do love it. It's uh, mm, this one is a bit mm. okay. Yeah, I uh, do collect uh, Luxembourg uh, used. Um, yeah, I, I, I know. I just love Luxembourg as a how they issue stamps. They're not issuing too many. Um, they're just very, you know, sparse. Um, generally, they're beautiful. Nice cancellation. Very nice. Not so nice, but yeah, it's uh, beautiful colors, simple design. Not sure if this needs to go like this. I'm I'm not sure. I think they're all upright. I'm not even sure. I don't think these are part of this series. I think these are together and these are together. I don't think they're the same series. 2008, it says they're 2008. Oh, could be still. This is the 2007 series. 2, 4, 6, 8. This is 8. Might be one series. I'm not too sure, actually. I think they're more newer stamps. Uh, I do have old stamps of uh, Luxembourg. Um, but, um, yeah, I've been, I don't know, focusing a bit on newer stamps. They're more expensive, I have to say. Goes maybe for uh, a lot of countries. I've seen for Germany, um, although for Germany it's, I don't know, they are still mass produced, I feel, so um, they're not as expensive. For Luxembourg, it's sometimes, um, well, bidding war is a bit of an exaggeration. But yeah, um, you pay more for uh, this between 15 and 25 cents a stamp. Uh, might be exceptions, but you know, that is a bit lower. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, but I like that. It's just uh, I like that it's harder to come by uh, newer stamps. Uh, that's how it feels. Okay. Here you can see the uh, in their own language, Luxembourger. This is uh, to protect uh, animals. Yeah, I do speak uh, German. Uh, this is Luxembourg uh, ish. Luxembourg, yeah. Um, as a language and this is how they would say in their own language Luxembourg so but it, it's um, it sounds a bit like uh, German with all respect you know very colorful designs this is a set I believe I actually love these colors Beijing 2002, uh, 2008, I have to say. Yeah, lovely. Seemed really broad. Uh, to be honest, rings a bell, but it's something in Dutch too. Really broad, and I'm not sure what. Okay, this is celebrating 10 years of the Euro system. 1998, 2008, so 10 times... 10 times, <laughs> 10 years the euro. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we have more. We have a lot more in store, I have to say. So, Henry Pences. Some sort of, um, not some sort. We, shall, we say dirigent in Dutch. Um, how do you call that? Um, leader of an uh, orchestra. I can't find the name. It's also Philharmonic Orchestra Luxembourg. 
what are they celebrating? 75 years, yeah. Nice cancellation. Basketball Federation, 75 years. And then two animal stamps, 2002. Let's see what we have more. More animal stems also. I think it's also part of the series. Let's see. It's in the surcharge. I don't believe they're part of this. Then we have some comics. I think it's a. Luxembourg comics something or is it celebrating something else maybe something with kids play or I don't know it's a nice uh, nice set nice very small you don't sometimes you see these smaller stamps in Luxembourg um, but mostly they're this um, size and that's what I mean in contrast to Canadian stamps, that's how it feels for me. Um, there's more variety in Canadian stamps when it goes to uh, the sizes of the uh, stamps. Um, but it doesn't mean that this and these aren't nice, you know. These are really nice stamps, nice, colorful. I love them. But yeah, I already told numerous of times that I love Can um, Luxembourg stamps. I do believe I have this series apart from one. I'm not sure which. I think the 50 in brown. Hmm. But I'm not sure. This is also series. Oh yeah, this has to be together like this. I think there's a third one. I'm not too sure. But yeah, it looks complete, but I'm correct. also about mail delivery but yeah this is what I don't understand this word yeah I think 100 years mail delivery can it be I don't know I think it's longer or the organization something well something with delivering mail yeah this is 100 years together we're strong um, I don't know, something for employees or something, you know, an organization, I would suspect. So nice. This is, the next one is um, fire department. Nice coloring, nice. Too bad it's a bit here, damaged, firefighter. Obviously these guys all around the world are doing wonderful jobs. Henry the Seventh. Okay. When I see Henry like this, you know, I'm thinking, oh, Henry with an I, not with an... Is it? Yeah, I was thinking about... Uh, England or Great Britain, Henry, but this is, you know, written differently. Still a lot to learn about Luxembourg also. We're getting there. That's nice that stamps take you on a journey. Also here, the smaller ones again. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is a lovely uh, set of stamps. Very good quality, generally. Yeah, I feel that I have them all upside down.
guitar player, rocking out. Not sure what this is. It's about peace, missions. Oh yeah, um, Luxembourger army. Yeah, this is celebrating. Have another one. Look at them both celebrating something by the European Union. Oh no, that's a uh, uh, Rome Treaty. Seventy no, fifty years. Call it treaty. Um, you have Rome. This is celebrating twenty. Yeah, same actually. Yeah, and when when it's signed, twenty five of twenty fifth of March nineteen fifty seven. All the countries that participated, I guess. <clears throat> Church, you know, organ or. I believe, yeah. Okay. Running out of space. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, elections, European elections. Oh, this is with a nice step. Let's see the last few of them. Astronomy. Year of Astronomy. Yeah, nice. Celebrating 125 years, something with Shue, it's play, you know, uh, games, kids' games or something. And I don't know, this is celebrating 10 years, 10 years Euro. Okay, so we had 10 years celebrating the Euro system, and we have here 10 years celebrating the Euro, I think, implementation. There's also different differs per country in the European Union, I believe. Um, but this cancellation is wonderful. Okay, um, I'll get rid of this. Nice step. Now oh, this is like personalized stamps. Let's see. I should know the, no, the names, but I'm sorry I don't. One hundred years football in Luxembourg. Nice cancellation. Oh, see. Beautiful cancellation, yeah. Christmas 2005, lovely colors, lovely. Let's see what is this about, is a European, there's two of them. Oh, I have to really turn and twist them. This is like a, What do you call cuisine Luxembourg? <laughs> I would think something like that doesn't say, but uh, would say would be something like that. Oh, this is one seventy-five years of the Federation of Luxembourg Chess. Let's see, depicting a train. From 1900, locomotive, something about Luxembourger state. Celebrating Germany 2006, I believe, and when the football was there, was it European? World Cup, actually. 
I do love football, but it's not like uh, religion. It's not like I have to watch everything. So, yeah. Nice cancellation again. Butterfly. I do believe this one. Yeah. Part of that. Not sure what it's celebrating, to be honest. It's four, but looks like they are together. <clears throat> Very nice. Nice dog. Marie and Rie, and I can't really read it. Eighteen ninety-eight, nineteen thirty. Écrivain. Yeah, we have to look that up at some point for, you know, an episode like Stems of Luxembourg that we go into more into detail what they're about. It would be good. Because, yeah, this is, uh, these are episodes that I'm doing off the bat. And it just shows really well how little knowledge I have about countries. Um, not trying to be ignorant, but this is, you know... <laughs> I don't know a lot about them. This is just okay. So Luxembourg cuisine or something? Yeah, I believe. It's art museum, National Art Museum. Two thousand and four, I believe. It's also does it say National Museum? Oh, this should be part of this one here. Yeah. European Year of uh, Sport Education. That would be the same, I think. Same year, maybe. Uh, upside down. It's also part of it, I believe. Europa. Yeah. Both. 50 and 60 cents. So European, Europa stamps. So also some people collect your uh, Europa stamps. Actually as a kid I did too. I think it's really appealing that uh, it, it is kind of topical. You know, um, collecting the issues that uh, the various countries um, issue, yeah, <laughs> produce. Um, you, you get to collect a lot of countries. And um, I think it started with six or seven countries that started issuing. I'm not sure when, 1955, 54, 56, something like that. And then it's like 30, 40 countries, you know, because it's not only the countries in the European Union, it's also some other countries are allowed to participate also. Um, don't know about details, but um, yeah, so you get to collect uh, on a yearly basis a lot of um, stamps with that theme, uh, Europa, and within, you know, the that collection, you know, it's like... Um, Sometimes they're talking about fairy tales, sometimes about, uh, you know, next year it could be about bridges or, uh, you know, then there's a year about national parks and then every country issues uh, their stamps about their national parks, you know. So that's really, it's really nice. Anyway, another Christmas feels a bit embossed. I do believe it is. Is it part of that? It is, I think. 2005 can see a year here but I'm not sure if you can see it but it feels a bit like the kids are but it's embossed gives a bit of I'm not sure if the camera catches it but it's really nice okay and this is a set I do believe I have most of them maybe missing one but yeah sometimes you have to pick the sometimes you have to buy the set in order to 
find that missing one. Uh, that's the price you literally have to pay. Uh, gives you also stems to trade. Um, well, I have some spare Luxembourg. It's still um, in my album, but I will go through them and uh, you know only keep the best of them. Um, if you're interesting in, interested in Luxembourg or stamps, then um, hit me up. You know, write a comment um, or mail me at chrislovestamps at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Keep loving your stamps. Stay safe. Goodbye.